Hello, my name is Marika Conrad. I am a PhD candidate at the University of Maryland. Today I am here on behalf of my co-authors to present to you an analysis of the use, modify, create pedagogical approach as a means of balancing structure and student agency. Computer science is well on its way to becoming a subject that all K-12 students learn. As K-12 computer science instruction increases, several different pedagogical approaches for instructions have been proposed. These approaches range from constructionist activities where learners are focused on building personally meaningful projects through exploration, to more structured approaches such as puzzle-based curricula with small tasks that gradually build skills for a particular concept. The spectrum of available curricula demonstrate a tension between structured, content-focused curricula and open-ended, constructionist learning experiences. Structured curricula can limit exploration, but the play paradox in constructionism identifies the tension in open-ended environments between supporting a freedom for exploration while constraining the activity to ensure specific concepts or practices are encountered. One way out of this pedagogical paradox that attends to both sides of the tension is the use, modify, create pedagogical approach. The use, modify, create pedagogical approach moves learners from an initial highly scaffolded activity that focuses on introducing concepts and practices, the use activity, towards a more open-ended exploratory space as learners' com competence and confidence grows, the create activity. In our work, we seek to explore the use, modify, create pedagogical approach within a computer science curriculum and the tensions between structured activities that ensure content engagement and the open-ended exploration that allows for learners to draw on their prior knowledge and personalize their work. We explore the use, modify, create pedagogical approach in the context of Scratch Encore. Scratch Encore is a two to three year intermediate culturally relevant computer science curriculum. It uses the Scratch platform because Scratch is designed to have a low barrier of entry. Scratch Encore is constructed of individual modules or units with two to three lessons in each unit. These lessons follow a use, modify, create process. On the right, you can see the general structure of each unit. The unit structure uses gradual release to scaffold student learning. Let's look at what the use, modify, create structure looks like in an example lesson. Conditional loops. The module begins with an introductory discussion about repeated actions and how repeated actions can end after a set number of repetitions, the project ending, or based on a condition becoming true. The term conditional loop is introduced and students brainstorm repeated actions and identify the action and in condition in each. Then we provide example code from a project with a recognizable urban setting. Students use a tip and see worksheet to first use and explore the project. In the modify step, Students are encouraged to individualize the project by choosing different costumes for the car, stopping the car at different locations, changing the speed of the car's movement, and adding say blocks. In lesson two, students create an open-ended project using conditional loops. Teachers are supplied with a starter project that is pre-filled with different transportation costumes and backgrounds representing popular transportation locations in the student city. Students are asked to have a sprite move across the stage and stop when it touches another sprite or a specific color. They can make any modifications to the project they choose, including adding sprites or backdrops of their own. We have used quantitative and qualitative data analysis to examine the Scratch project of 536 students from 19 5th to 8th grade classrooms to better understand two aspects of student work the completion of technical elements, and variations from the structured tasks. We aim to better understand how students engaged with content and how students personalized their project and demonstrated their creativity. We gave each student a completion rate based on the number of project requirements they accomplished within their Scratch projects. As you can see in this graph, the average student completion rate in most modules was between 50 and 75 percent. 
by examining the completion rate by class and grade level in the use and modify activities, we determined that students at all grade levels could successfully complete the Scratch Encore activities and being in a higher grade level did not predict completing more tasks successfully. In fact, student performance in classrooms taught by the same teacher was consistent within and across grade levels. For example, take a look at the classes taught by Teacher D or Teacher E, Teacher I, and Teacher H. The students in all of these classrooms did similarly across grade level. We found that teacher is a statistically significantly better predictor of student completion rate as compared to grade level. One explicit source of flexibility in Scratch Encore is through extensions, especially for the modify tasks. While these are not specifically required for the Use, Modify, Create curriculum, extensions serve as a point of flexibility and help accommodate students learning at different speeds. We found that for the most part, students completed requirements before extensions. In this graph, you see the number of requirements completed along the x-axis and the number of extensions completed along the y-axis. You see that the number of extensions completed increases as the number of requirements completed increases. This indicates that students who have completed the most extensions have also completed the greatest number of requirements. Within the CREATE project, structure is provided in the form of planning documents, which encourage students to incorporate the blocks that were introduced in current or previous modules within their new programs. However, the assignment is intentionally open-ended enough to enable students to explore new blocks that have not yet been taught. In their CREATE projects, students utilize blocks required for the module. As you can see in this graph, over 80% of students use some required blocks across the examined module. We further found that in the Animation Create project, about 70% of students use not yet introduced blocks. This finding indicates that a majority of students either had prior knowledge of the blocks or chose to explore and experiment with the full set of blocks available on Scratch. In the Conditional Loops Create project, students were asked to either have their sprite speak or make a sound after the condition was determined to be true and their sprite stopped moving. In this histogram, you see the number of say blocks used in each project. While about 94 students had no say blocks, 172 students used at least one say block, and 86 students included dialogue that contained more than one say block. We further explored this by looking at the types of things that students included in their say blocks and discovered that students often use say blocks to create or for a narrative in their projects. Check out these examples. Finally, we analyzed the degree to which students use the starter project elements and personalize their projects. We found that only 20 students, that's about 11%, made no changes to the sprites or backdrops in the starter project and just used the defaults, like this. Of the students who used the starter project, 53% changed the default main sprite to a provided costume. Like this one. Time to get on the chair. And 11.6% of students changed the main sprite to one of from the Scratch library. Like this project that uses a food truck and scooter. An additional 7.7% .7 of students uploaded or created a costume of their own. This included cartoon characters, memes, and lots of popular culture references. Over half of the students also added extra sprites to their projects. These sprites were often waiting on the train platform or for the form of transportation, such as is seen in this project. Most students changed their backdrop, either to a provided one or one from the Scratch library. Just a few students uploaded a new backdrop.
Create projects that did not begin with a starter project had more pronounced creativity when compared to student projects that did use a starter project. Students used an average of 2.8 sprites, but some as many as 14 sprites in their projects that didn't have a starter. Although the Create projects did not use the starter project, 48% still included a transportation theme, although the modes of transportation were a little different and included Lamborghinis, food trucks, Thomas the Tank Engine, and more. Projects that did not have transportation theme used common game characters like Kirby and Pokemon, television and memes as inspiration. Over half the students who created projects without a starter project uploaded or created their own costume for use as the main sprite rather than using sprites from the Scratch library. The goal of this analysis was to understand to what degree a use, modify, create curriculum as enacted through Scratch Encore provides structure that encourages content learning while maintaining flexibility and open-endedness to promote student-driven learning and engagement. Overall, the use modify activities within the curriculum promoted student learning as evidenced by their completion of project requirements. The structure of the use and modify lessons successfully introduced the desired concepts and students were able to use the same concepts taught during their use and modify lessons when working on their create projects. As students were using blocks that were taught within the use modify structure, they also experimented and did so in new ways that had not been taught. In the create projects, students were able to experiment with blocks that had not been previously introduced. The open-ended nature of the create projects also gave students the opportunity to incorporate their own elements of self-expression and creativity in their projects. When taken as a whole, utilizing the use, modify, create pedagogical approach within Scratch Encore has largely succeeded in providing a balance between structure and student-driven open-ended exploration. Thank you.